Hi, welcome to this weekend review edition of Bayou Time. Don't forget a, a little later on in this episode tonight, we're going to have an all new episode of The Beat, so you don't, don't want to miss that. Joining me now on the news desk is Mr. Keith Blanchard. He's got a couple different things to, to tell us about, um, and he is actually from Homa. He grew up here in Homa, and he, tell us a little bit about the movie that you're about to release, Mr. Keith. Uh, about three years ago, a friend of mine uh, was very indecisive about going to New York to become an independent film director. Okay. And he asked me as a spiritual teacher if I can give him some motivation to do that. And I told him that he would be an absolute fool not to follow his passion. Uh, he said, well, how would I do that? And I said, that is not your job. Your job is to beat your feet towards New York and the universe will provide the way. Uh, shortly after he graduated, he called me to say thank you with an, off, an offer to do a documentary movie about my life as an author and a full-time musician because most people believe that they can't live their passion and earn a decent living at it. And the movie is basically about uh, empowering people with the tools so they can actually do just that. That's pretty good. Yeah. And I mean, he, he took your idea or your encouragement and ran with it. He, he's actually the dream. testimony, yes. That's, yes. that's amazing, yes. okay. And I think um, not only about a movie coming out, but also a book. Or, or aren't you working on a book right now or something like yes, that? Yes, uh, in late 90s, I, I, as a spiritual teacher, I became privy to the idea of there was a, an avatar, translates to divine descent, who lived in India that was causing a great noise about uh, his presence. I started reading every book I can find about this avatar's life, and he started appearing to me in dreams. And one night in a dream state, he comes to me and wakes me up in, in the dream state and says, Keith, I want you to come to India. I had no idea how I was going to put this together. He said, you need to learn to transcend your doubt and disbelief. Well, the next morning, I'm figuring, I guess I'm going to India, not knowing how. <laughs> Two weeks later, I get a phone call from a lady I've never met saying, hi, Keith, my name is Debbie. We have a mutual friend. Uh, I hear you want to go to India. I said, this is true. She says, well, I'm a flight attendant, and I have some companion passes for the year that are about to expire. And I would really hate that knowing you want to go to India to see your holy man. Can I give you a round trip first class ticket really? to India? And so I took off to India. When I got there, I logged my entire experience. I was there for two weeks. Uh, and I saw things that most people will never have the opportunity to see, experience, feel. Um, but also, they probably, it would be hard for most people to even swallow some of the miracles that I was fortunate enough to have happen right in front of me and actually ongoing to this very day. Wow. Yeah. So you just, I mean, it's like, you know, pay it forward, kind of. <laughs> yes. That's yes. amazing. So, and that's what this book is all about. Um, the name of the book is actually For the Love of God. For the Love of God. It's about my passion to want to find the deepest meaning in my life experience. Um, and I, I'm passionate about everything I do. I'm the kind of person that will jump off the cliff into my bliss regardless of the consequence. Uh, there's, there's something in it for me. I, have a, I get a great joy and a charge out of empowering people um, to be able to live their best life. And that's what my gig is. It's seeing people illumined by something I've done, uh, a touch, a word, piece of information. Okay, and that's not the only book you've written, correct? This is number five. The first one is The Divine Principle, Anchoring okay. Heaven on Earth. That one went bestseller a few years ago. Eden Sky Wonders Why is a children's book series modeled after my eight-year-old son. Uh -huh. It's about uh, children who ask big questions, curious questions, questions that are probably much larger than parents want to dare to answer. So you, you did it for <laughs> us, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And there are two companions to the divine principle, and for the love of God about my journey to India to see this holy man uh, is number five. That's, that's impressive. Yeah. Okay. Now tell us some of maybe your plans for the future. What does the future hold for you? Uh, as I said, I, I love giving people uh, a lift. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it charges my life. Um, I, I do a radio show every Monday night on Block Talk Radio called The Searcher's Roadmap, which I have great joy in doing. I'm just all about creating things. I love creating things. It fills me inside. But again, as I said, and I will always say, um, it's about um, sharing something that I was fortunate enough to have handed to me with other people. All right, Mr. Blanchard, so where can we get your books? 
Uh, you can get my books uh, on Amazon, The Divine Principle on Amazon. Um, you can also go to my website, KeithAnthonyBlanchard.com, for anything uh, relating to the books. But also, if you want to uh, check out the movie now, we have a final draft about to happen very shortly. Uh, you can visit DoWhatYouLoveTheMovie.com. Okay. So the, the movie is not actually on your website? It on is, the yes. There's a link that takes you to a larger site, but it's okay. all available on So Keith we can Anthony do everything Blanchard. at KeithAnthonyBlanchard.com. Yeah, very much so. All right. Sounds good. Good Thank luck. You. Thank and you very keep much. us posted. Yeah. Thank you.